What's happening guys? It's Mike here with Do-It-Yourself Task Force. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Flexo 590 spray gun. As you can see, I've already put some significant wear on it. I've already been painting. As you just saw on the fence, today we're painting a fence. Uh, as you can see, it's just a regular wood fence. Uh, on the one side, it's extremely old. It's been around for, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 years. I thought it would be good to get a nice coat on there. Uh, I, a couple of things when I think about this gun. So I've used it for uh, different interior coats, and I'm also doing it for exterior. Uh, I actually find it to be much easier for the exterior due to the fact on refilling this canister right here. Uh, you could imagine as the, uh, as the paint keeps settling, it actually gets a little tougher to close, a little tougher to open. Um, overall, what, what do I think about this gun? I think it's working great for the exterior because there's so much off spray. Uh, I think this gun is... Uh, primarily should be used for the exterior. The Flexa 590, I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, so I wanted to experience it myself. I think I got this uh, online for maybe about, I don't know, uh, 80, 90 bucks. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm definitely putting it to, uh, to its use. One of the things that I find pretty frustrating is this little nozzle, it does get clogged. I haven't really experienced that yet on doing the exterior of the fence. I think uh, this, this canister, it's not too little, it's not too small. I think it's a really good size though. You have to cons consistently keep refilling it. Uh, it could be frustrating, you might need a hand. It, also the cord, as you can see, it's not so big. So you're definitely gonna need an extension cord if you're gonna be uh, you know, outside doing some sort of painting. Uh, the trigger works really well. I find the trigger to work really well. I also, uh, this little knob right here, and I'll, I'll show you guys an up close look on the detail of this gun after I clean it up, and I'll also show you the inside of the case, everything that comes with the Flexo 590. This little uh, adjuster right here actually adjusts how uh, the width of the spray. So that's actually really helpful. Uh, overall, this entire gun disassembles really well, and it allows you to really clean it pretty good. I mean, this is, uh, I thought I was only going to use this one time until it literally broke, but. Uh, I've had some decent luck with it. Some of the reviews really told me to stay away from it, but I gave it a try due to the fact on what it actually cost. So uh, now I actually want you to uh, watch me on how I apply my, uh, my paint coat directly onto the fence. Let's check it out. All right, so guys, check this out. So I'm gonna be just taking this off right now. I'm gonna show you, I mean, obviously, you guys understand on how to fill this, but unfortunately, uh, on one of one circumstances, this is how I'm filling this little bucket right here. I primarily, I basically fill it all the way to the top, but you do want to leave some room because the nozzle, as you can see this little nozzle right here, this is actually what picks the paint up and sprays it out. You're going to need to get some room in for that. So I got that there. It's pretty easy to actually screw it right on. And there you go. Now it's on and it's ready for spray. Watch me spray. Follow me. Alright, do you have a, good, a clear shot? Yeah. Here we go. As you guys just saw there, it applies really smoothly, really easily, and it gives you that wide spread. That's why I really like this S, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, this uh, Flexo 590. Um, as you can see, over the wide range, because there is a lot of off paint, and that means basically paint traveling all around, if you're doing it on the interior, it's going to get really messy. Let me continue showing you guys how I spray across this next panel. Also, you want to kind of stay a little further away from it because if you are too close and you're applying your paint, it's going to get too thick and it's going to start dripping. You want to make sure that you stay a good distance right away.
as you guys heard there, as soon as it's actually done the paint, it kind of actually starts spitting out air. At that point, you know you need to refill this up. So uh, I hope you like the tutorial, guys, and I hope you like my uh, review of the uh, Flexo 590. I actually give it an A. For exterior painting, I think it's great. Overall cleaning, it's great. And uh, the handling, the feel of this, it's not too heavy, it's not too light, especially it's not too heavy with the paint in your hand. Um, so make sure you pick this up if you're looking to paint your fence. Thanks for watching. So guys, I wanted to show you really quickly what it looks like when you're taking this thing apart. I also want to make you uh, aware that while you're doing all this, you should definitely have a, uh, a toothbrush, an old toothbrush that you do not use that will allow you to take this thing apart and basically scrub it. Uh, as you can see here, we have the canister. You really want to get deep into all of these little crevices. Uh, this is actually the spout that uh, attaches to the bottom here. The down, the down tube that goes right into the um, the tub of paint, and all these little um, all these little parts that assemble right around this. This is this is this is this is like the main component that actually uh, allows the paint to spray out. Uh, as you can see right here on the ground, this is the electric part. Okay, this is what makes everything go, but this part gets assembled to the front. This gets assembled to the bottom of it, and all of these components right here get assembled to this uh, this front area right here. Okay, so everything really does come apart, which is great. It's really almost impossible to get the paint off everything unless you do it super quickly as soon as you're done, and uh, you get literally just start taking this thing apart. I really recommend this is little this is this is what I use right here an old toothbrush uh, run some hot water and I literally just take it all apart and um, I scrub everything like crazy to get the excess paint off of it because um, this little part this is where all the paint actually squirts out of so it basically goes from the bottom here from this tub through this this little hole uh, through this tube right here and sprays out this way everything else is basically providing um, providing air, you know that the main component that is actually the electric component is providing airflow through here, maximizing the pressure and allowing for the spray to go. So um, you know these are the minor components. I mean the um, let me um, also I wanted to show you guys everything that's inside the case on how the case comes. But one more time, I just want to show you a glimpse of everything of how I. Uh, disassembled it, how I took it all apart, and uh, how I kind of like lay it out. You know, I'm, 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 in my, uh, I'm in my washer and dryer room, and I just kind of, uh, after washing everything, I just kind of let it all lay out, let it uh, dry out, and then I'll assemble it, and I'll put it back into the case. So give me, um, let, me go, let me go ahead and show you guys what the case looks like and how everything looks inside the case. All right, so this is the box that it actually comes in. It's a pretty large box. Um, right at the top is basically the handle. There's some uh, minor instructions all around the box. This is the front of it. Flexia 590 spray. So it actually, I'll show you guys what comes inside. In addition to everything that I just showed you, let me give you a close-up of this uh, of the spray gun right there. Let me actually just show you guys what's on the back too. Might as well. So it actually comes with two separate nozzles as you see here one is for like an extended spray and they're gonna you know if you were to uh, buy one of these there's uh, plenty of instructions on the inside that um, that show you everything besides the fact that the gun was really well priced for me I found it at a really good price I really like when equipment comes in like a hard case like this you have your handle overall really nice hard case by Wagner it's really great I mean um, that really that made me kind of like say, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. There's plenty of different instructions. You have your uh, you have your warranty information. You have so each. Um, I didn't use this because uh, I'm not big on instructions, but I just went ahead and um, a lot of people put this on the wall and they kind of practice spraying from side to side and trying to figure out different things on how to spray it. Listen, it sprays paint, fill it up, spray it, forget about it. 
Um, there's minor little tools that I, I don't know what this tool does. I forgot actually what it does. But uh, it might have something to do with uh, either cleaning or measuring or God knows what. But anyway, this is the case. Uh, everything fits in it really well. And as you can see here, I actually never used this. So this is for, um, this is brand new. Um, this is for like really tight areas where you could really have like fine pieces on something really small and you want to like really use this gun for that, um, for that type of, uh, that wood. As you can see here, this is how the gun would, uh, as soon as the gun gets assembled here, nice little trigger right there. Everything is uh, really nice in here. Also, the uh, the set comes with this little tool to really create uh, to really clean out all the crevices and stuff like that. I don't like using this. Um, I rather actually just use the um, I rather actually just use the uh, the toothbrush. And if anything, I just throw it out. So again, it does come with uh, two two different tubs and uh, the actual nozzles. This one and this one. They do two different things, and uh, if, again, if you were to purchase this, you could read up on it, or you could just read up online on what each individual does. I have tried other guns. They didn't work as well as this one. There's other reviews out there that indicate that out of the front nozzle, um, if you were to have the paint a certain way or it starts leaking out, um, I've seen that happen. But overall, for the cost and the time savings that you, you get, I mean, you guys saw what I was really doing um, on the fence. It was incredible. I mean, I probably got the job done at, at least 50% faster, at least 50% faster than I would have do got it done um, using a hand uh, brush, paintbrush. So again, thank you guys for watching. This is the uh, Wagner Flexio. Alright, thanks.